that is how the other bull, that is how he's holding his tail out of the water. You know? <laughs> it's like humans who wade. Humans, when we wade into the water, we hold our arms up. You know, apart from the fact that our whole body is getting wet, we still hold our arms up until we, at the last moment we put our arms in. An elephant are like that with their tails. They walk into the water and only at the last minute will they get their tail wet. It's like the tail is just, just can't bear the cold water. And there's our pair of Egyptian geese. Gonna probably be breeding soon. So this is our mid-drive break, by the way. Greeting the other youngster, other youngster greeting him, trunk and mouth. And a little just bit of pushing and shoving. Get in the water, get wet. <laughs> I don't want to get wet. smell the water that they're stirring up. It's just such amazing, such incredible sight. Okay, wait. It's gonna sit on him. <laughs> been friends since they were calves. Like the little ones we saw earlier with that family unit. <coughs> Not too far apart in age. Like three university students, called three college students. Equivalent of, of that age and that, that frame of mind of invincibility. There we go, a three-way tassel, a scrum. In rugby, it would be called a loose scrum. Although there would be a penalty because it's going for a man without the ball. Concentric ring ripples that are rippling throughout the whole of of, of the Fuzuk Dam, making little waves. The squirrels could be surfing now if they wanted to. mud on his tusk there. Shows how he's been digging his tusk into the mud at the bottom of the dam. Oh, I'd love to be an elephant. Oh. <laughs> him in the bum with his tusk made him sit down. Linda, old him um, from New York, USA. And she said that the rain stress is fun, but nothing better than watching the three elves playing in the water. And the thanks very much for making uh, this kind of experience possible. So, Linda. Uh, yeah. 
that definitely Malik is going in. Thanks, Patrick. Message from Linda. Um, saying how much she's enjoying these three ellies in the water as much as we are, no doubt. I'm sure everybody is. I'm just going to make the rest of the afternoon an even more intense of a race. Um, I'm going to have to do some serious racing. What number are we on? 11 or 12? 11. I think. 12 if our other camera gets it. Got six mammals to find in a very short space of time. No, seven at least. Got to beat 18. I'm starting to comprise a law of electronica. Mark's law of electronic reliability that states that the importance of the the importance of the event that you want to record on an electronic device is directly proportional to the reliability of that device and the possibility of that device working. Like when I needed the phone the most, the phone gave in. Of course, the phone's working fine now. There was a time a while ago, my mom had an accident, broke her foot. I needed to get hold of her. I was stuck in the bush and the phone didn't work. And the day that I needed emails and things because Paula was flying out and I needed emails and things, internet wasn't working. And the day that I need the camera working because I've got three Ellie's playing in the water, the camera's not focusing. So Mark's law of electronica is it directly proportional or inversely proportional? And say inversely proportional. The need for a gadget to work inversely proportional to the chances of it working. I suppose you can all just get out of the water now so I can carry on with the race. Love the ripple, eh? And I just sort of 